whole point of everything that I'm writing in ridding the world of racism is to force the white supremacists to either do justice or to kill us all. They have, they have the capability of killing us all, but then if they kill us all, like Gandhi said in the situation in India, said, okay, if you kill everybody in India, you will have our dead bodies, but you won't have our cooperation because we'll be gone. Now you got a whole lot of land called India. What you going to do? You're going to, you know, the next thing you got to do, I guess, is go around and kill all the elephants and whatnot, which they are doing and whatnot, and just keep killing until maybe you don't have anybody left to kill but each other, which is what you started out doing. Okay? I think that's what Gandhi meant. That's certainly what I mean when I say that we're supposed to be forcing them to have to make that decision. Uh, at least one of the callers has said that we're in danger of being exterminated and whatnot. Well, so if they decide to kill us all rather than what they usually do and what they do, because that's what white supremacy is about. See, the, the, the white supremacists are very scientific in practicing white supremacy. They don't have to plot to kill all of the black people on this planet. They can announce it to the entire world. They don't have to plot. They don't have to sneak around and do that. They can say, the white supremacists can say right now, they can come on television and announce, particularly in view of the recent election in the Northwestern Hemisphere, they can say, you know what? We're sick and tired of all of you black people. You're worthless. Your black lives don't matter. We haven't found anything that you're good for that we can use or want to use for anything anymore. We can do our own work because we've got machines to do that. And you know what? We're going to exterminate every last one of you. We're going to kill you like we kill roaches, which is what they used to call black people, I understand. Wow. Okay. Right. Okay. You know, I first heard that term in the 1940s and say, you know, we're, you're useless. You know, we, we don't, you know, we don't even need you to laugh at anymore. I mean, you know, you go out here making jokes and whatnot. We don't need to hear your jokes. We're sick of you, sick of looking at you, sick of playing with you, which is what we do. We play with you. We play with you all the time. You don't even know you're being played with. You're being played. You play things for us, for our entertainment, but we're sick of you. You're not entertaining anymore, so we're going to exterminate you. So that, I have never feared that since I think that I understand white supremacy, because the first talk that I made was at the University of Maryland in 1969, mm -hmm. and that was right after the riots of 1968, the so-called Martin Luther King riots, assassination riots. And I made a talk at the University of Maryland, the first talk I ever made on codification. And I said to a mostly white audience at that time that if you're so sick of us, why don't you just go ahead and stop playing with us and exterminate us? Now, we'll do the best we can to defend ourselves just like anybody with some sense will do. Any animal will do that. But we will also know that even trying to defend ourselves against your ability, your military ability, that we'll all be dead. You'll kill us all. We know that you can kill us all. That's no thing that you have to go around and talk in whispers about and wonder about. Everybody knows this. And nobody will come to our rescue. Who would? Except maybe the Creator. And if the Creator doesn't do it, we're out of here anyway. That's why I'm saying, to get back to the point, I invite them to do this. But I'm counting on they won't do it. Why? Because whatever put us here will keep us here. And if we leave here, it'll be whatever put us here decided it's time for us to go. I have that kind of confidence. So I invite when people start talking about their plotting on killing the black people of this planet. First of all, how are you going to be a white supremacist and you don't have any black people to be supreme over? All right? 
when that's the only thing that you really enjoy if you are a real bona fide white supremacist. You don't enjoy nothing else. Truth be told, that's the only thing that you really enjoy. You don't enjoy wife, family, none of that. You enjoy abusing non-white people. So if you kill all non-white people, you're cutting off your source of enjoyment. You enjoy abusing us. You enjoy that. We see that. If we tell the truth about it and study it in fine detail, you enjoy that. 